All right, you heard Marcus. We find another way in. Wait. What is that? Oh, no. We, uh, we might have a problem. Yeah, we definitely have a problem. Warning! Sorry. I've, uh... I'm gonna try to knock off his helmet, and then we can use the long shot. Oh, you punk. I'm get shot on his face. I just can't. I missed. Okay. Your license. This guy. Easy. That's why I had the long shot. What's the goddamn warden doing here? A warden means the swarm's looking to turn this place into a hive. Oh shit. Let's just find what we're looking for and get out of here. So that's pretty cool. The warden actually does cover his face when he loses his uh, helmet. Smart AI. But not smart enough because it doesn't keep the face completely covered all the time. Just looking around here for like ammo and stuff. Don't see anything. Found something. Help me lift it. Squeak through, buddy. You too. Yeah, it would have been nice to, uh... This place would probably be really cool for those who, uh... Remember okay, the gear story really well. But what the hell are they? Because apparently Marcus was here. But I don't really remember it. I don't remember which game it was. <laughs> Never seen gas like this before. So, that kind of sucks. Hmm. Can we turn it off? So I don't really want to run through it. I wasn't sure which button it was going to be. That was a little bit scary. Expect that to hit. <laughs> I wonder if I could stun him and then uh, maybe well, I got two of them. I'm trying to wall bounce, but it's not working. Dead. Check fire. Check your aim. 
You know, if you weren't standing in front of me, I, I could. You know, avoid you a little bit easier. <laughs> me to like do a quick turn and I don't know what button combination I'm pressing but I think it's like okay so if I if I hold space and then press S which would be like holding A and pressing down I'll do a quick turn which is really not necessary especially for PC because you know, your mouse is... Dead. You can turn a lot faster with the mouse. Alright, apparently I can't, uh... Jump over that. Is that it? I wanted to jump over this wall. Oh, now I can. Couldn't do it earlier. <laughs> um. Jeff Flash. Okay. This is bad. This is bad because there's gas there. There's got to be a way to turn off the gas. Okay, we're clear. But watch it. More gas leaks down here. Almost like someone wants to keep us out. Okay, get the other side. the uh, weapons to deal with this. jumped right into that. Now, I'd really like to find this lab now. 
Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Probably an easier way to deal with those. Like, throw a frag grenade in there or something. That might work. Oh man, there's ammo here. Like, do I keep the enforcer or do I pick up a lancer? Although I don't think I can pick up the lancer, actually. Alright. Yeah, I can't. Okay. That's fine. I just have so much ammo for the long shot, I don't want to drop it. Stuck. Del, help me push this open. That didn't feel great. Jack, give us light. Perfect timing, Marcus. Well, no lab or stasis tanks, but we're in some kind of prison cell. Prison? You're seeing stuff I never did. From what I heard, Niall Sampson, the scientist who ran that place, using the children of emulsion poisoned miners for experiments. He imprisoned and experimented on children? I warned you about what you learned there. You can ask him yourself. Wait, what? How is he still alive? He preserved himself as an AI construct. Find the lab. Find Niles. Jack, keep this open. Hey, Marcus. Did the cog know what this Niles guy was doing? They shut him down. Eventually. Stuff like this is why I never trusted the cog. Not even when my wife was running it. Okay. See what you can do, Jack. Patient analysis AX3312. Prior to loss of speech, the subject complained frequently about joint and lung pain as well as in eh well as agonizing headaches. Subject's exposure to emulsion was severe, even before testing began. Once Russ Long had metastasized <laughs> throughout the subject's body, death came quickly. Emul emulsion's effects lead to intense and immediate cell stress, but other cells undergo point mutations that could be considered beneficial. Studies will continue. So I believe emulsion is something that was inside the blood of locusts or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but from the recap video I watched, uh, they were able to Gears 3 if uh it's gonna be a little bit spoilery but if you're watching this or playing gears 5 you probably played gears 3 and know the story of it so, uh spoiler alert um marcus and his father created this like bomb i think that would destroy anything with emulsion and that was mainly to Eradicate the locusts. I think that's how it worked. That's what I understood, but could be wrong. I, I don't really know. But unfortunately, it also killed Marcus's father because uh, he had used emulsion in his blood, blood cells or something, 
I don't remember why, but he ended up dying too, so. That's that's my understanding of what emulsion is, but I could be wrong. Sovereign Directive 10-3-10345. By virtue of the authority vested in me as chairman of the Coalition of Ordered Governments, it is hereby ordered that all activities at the New Hope Research Facility are to be terminated, effective immediately. It is further ordered that all staff report to the House of Sovereigns, where they will stand trial and face judgment on the 13th of Bloom. As citizen of this co coalition, each of us may made a pledge to conduct ourselves with honor and to observe principles of loyalty and purity as it was decreed by the All Fathers. I know no greater impurity than what has been conceived within the, wall, within the walls of New Hope and no act more dishonorable than what is effectively the imprisonment and torture of children. Furthermore, the untruths told by Dr. Niles Sampson and his team to protect themselves and their efforts from scrutiny indicate disloyalty of the greatest severity. Dr. Niles Sampson, you have forsaken your responsibilities to, to society, and so your society must forsake you. Chairman Monroe, the House of Sovereigns. Okay. I hope I'm not going the wrong way. Alright, it doesn't look like it. Nothing back here. Looks like Niles had a favorite test subject. Hmm. Creepy. these pictures seem there's any clues observation room they were watching this kid yes they were now how do we get to that observation room like that disgusting all of it Who was this Niles? What exactly was he doing? Over my pay grade. But it had something to do with the locust. Which means it has something to do with you. Agent analysis EV1849 has been exposed to emulsion levels hitherto known, without exception, to be fatal. Yet she displays no detectable cellular, cellular degradation at all. Quite the opposite, if anything. We have decided to isolate and observe this person closely 26 hours a day while continuing to administer a daily dose of concentrated emulsion. We tell her it's her medicine and she smiles when she takes it. She's quite eager to be helpful. All right. We found the lab. Good, but you're gonna want to avoid those tanks. Why? What's in them? The early and angry fruits of Niles' labor. They're called sires. Last time I saw them, they were a little moody. Moody. Great. Mm. Just find Niles. He should be close. Yeah, we're gonna have to fight those. <laughs> Oh, great. More of those, uh, leech things.
Mm. You know, I'm beginning to think Niles wasn't a nice guy. Probably not. Page analysis RK619-4. Final transformation occurred roughly 18 hours before death. Quite disappointing as the subject's cells had initially benefited from emulsion exposure nearly as much as subject 184-9. It is time to face a hard truth. 1849's response to emulsion exposure may be entirely an anomalous, and Dr. Torres has just informed me that their cells, their T cells appear to be particularly responsive. He believes her body is now aging at a pace roughly half that of a normal girl. Mm-hmm. All right. Come on. I think I'm ready to meet this Niles creep. So, you got any idea what you're gonna ask this guy? You know, about your, uh, connection thing? I think I might ask about the whole imprisoned children thing first. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. And then? And then, what does all this have to do with me? Okay. Oh, we've got to check back there to make sure there's no, like, secrets or anything. Time-worn data drive. There's a message hidden on the drive that Jack has decrypted. Dr. Sampson, I, re I represent a concerned party within Chair Monroe's administration. We are uncolored by the Ms. Messianic moralism our chairman has consistently shown. Instead, we are pragmatists. In our view, the greatest kindness we can do for Sarah is bring the Pendulum Wars to a swift, decisive end. To achieve this goal, we are willing to provide you with aid and resources. Unlike our chairman, we are cap capable of imagination, of seeing the light at the end of the tun tunnel, as it were. Your work has too much potential to squander. Preparations are now underway to relocate your research to a new location. Safely distant from eyes that may, may pry. Monroe has spies everywhere. We will speak with you again soon. Okay, so obviously these were most likely illegal experiments. All right, Marcus. Uh, that, that's what it sounds like. Look for a switch to activate his AI construct. Then put on your tinfoil hats. <laughs> Marcus, that didn't work. What? You, you, you did it, listen? No. Will, will we listen? Did you listen? Are you listening? That's Niles, all right. Still bad shit after all these years. Jack, get over here and pull whatever files you can. <laughs> oh, hello, naughty fellow. Hey, is Jack gonna get some weird virus plugged into this thing? Ah, oh, shit. Most of the files are corrupt, but several of them mention something called Kadar. That mean anything to you? No. It does to me. I'll have Baird take a look. What was that? Oh, shit! Come on, Jack! I was gonna take a sip of water, but... The final cleansing has it begun. May I terminate? No! Forget it! Someone once said to me, Nighty Night. Oh, 
So one of the things I've learned about movement over the weekend, I've been practicing against bots, trying to figure out how to do wall bouncing and all that stuff. And I'm not not very good at it, but uh, I think I'm getting a little bit better at it. But one of the things I've noticed Tell me Jack got enough data off that weirdo. Because you don't really want to Come on. Okay, we got it coming. You sure about this whole rooftop plan? Just get to the other side. You don't want to hold W while you're sprinting. I mean you can, but it's just not a good habit because you do move forward if you're holding space. And if you hold W, then or forward. Oh, shit, uh, Del, we got swarm. If you're holding forward, then when you try to move left and right, it's not going to move as much to the left and right. Then keep moving. See, here's holding W, trying to strafe. Here's strafing without holding W. So, trying to break that habit of holding W all the time is it's just really bad. And it's work. very easy to see why, especially in this game because, you know, it's third person. You can clearly see how much your character is moving and stuff. Kind of hard to see that in, a, in an FPS game. And that's always been one of my problems when it comes to FPS is... My strafing is probably not the best. Ow. We can view kick. So I don't know why they're the hit markers are orange sometimes and why they're sometimes red. Okay, through that building to the skip. Are there gonna be any Enemies around here? Yep. Make sure that thing Gotta dies before me. it gets to us. Oh crap. And I missed. All right. I meant to switch my lancer earlier, but kind of fat fingered one and two at the same time. Doctor Hostel. Got you. Gas or no gas, we gotta move. Alright, let me grab this ammo. said earlier new hope <laughs> not pleasant agreed i think i've seen enough of this place for today or tomorrow or ever let's get back to the skip and see if we have a solid lead hey kids you out of there yeah did baird get anything out of that data plenty right before the last of the scientists left new hope Someone sent them a message from a lab in Mount Kadar, formerly known as Locust Central. Okay. I've done plenty of fighting in that place. This is the first I've heard of any lab. Well, that's good, right? For us? If you say so. Problem is, the message's origin point was scrambled. Okay then, we track the message back to the source. To whatever comm towers are passed through. <laughs> Knew there was a reason we keep you around. Just head out and see if you can find any towers to start the trail back. Okay, will do. So, these comm towers, where do we find them? 
We'll need higher ground. I say we make our way east. Wait, wait. What the hell is this? Another security gate? <laughs> How many goddamn gates are we gonna find out here? Probably a lot. Try this. Oh, there's a freaking button right here. didn't get enough credit for its advances in big gate technology. Hmm. Or it got exactly enough credit. Come on, let's get in there and unjam it. Oh. Didn't realize that. 